Hey everybody, um, I'm doing kind of like a little mini review of how I built my uh, Tricopter uh, FPV Dream Machine version 1.5 frames. Um, here's how I do them. Uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, have been experienced, well not really, a lot, I guess only like one person, but one person's been ha having problems with uh, vibrations and stuff like that and I really try to explain to people that if you buy cheap motors, if you, you know, if you buy cheap props, you're gonna, it's gonna fly cheap, and it's not gonna have a very good vi vibration dampening. Like I, I use APC props, and that's like the lowest grade of props I would personally run. Do not run gym fans because they're very flimsy. Um, run APC at least. APC, uh, I use 10 by 4.7. Anyways, um, I use NX4008 motors. A lot of people are using other motors. Um, you know, once again, I can't vouch for your electronics. You know, if you buy cheap, you get cheap. I mean, NX 4008s aren't like super expensive, but they're not super cheap either. But they're actually really, really nice motors. I mean, the windings are all really tight, and it's a very, very nice motor, and it perform performs really well. Um, this is my personal. This is this one's actually uh, sold to a guy. I, I just uh, I sold it to that guy, a guy. But uh, here's my personal one. Um, as you see, it's very simple. Simple build. I don't put anything on the bottom plate except for um, uh, my copter control, and I have a Dragon Link uh, receiver there, and I just run the uh, the antenna out like that on the bottom. So there's no weight on the bottom. But an important thing is when you're tightening these um, shock dampeners down, shock absorbers, don't tighten them all the way down. A lot of people always tighten them really, really hard, and then that, that'll compress the foam so much that it doesn't have any um, room to dampen anything. I mean, you want it to be able to move up and down, but not like completely freely where it's just super loose. But you know, you want to be able to move up and down, you know, you got to think there's going to be a camera on it, like there's going to be a GoPro there. So, you know, you're going to want it to be able to move pretty freely, but not too freely, just so it'll dampen the vibes. Once again, I recommend running ABC props, and I use uh, Turner G Plus 30 amp ESCs, and NX4008 motors. That's my combo. It works great for me. For my tail servo, I'm using a high tech um, HS85MG. It's a great tail servo, never had any problems with it. Um, I put the battery right here. I use a 3300 uh, Thunder Power battery. I mean, you can put whatever battery you want up there. Um, for the, also, I added a uh, GoPro vibration pad here. Um, you can pretty much make your own if you want to. It's not, you don't really have to buy this. I just had an extra one, so I put it there. But all I do is I set my GoPro here, and I shoot in uh, 1080p. And, you know, you see my videos, so. Also, though, I I recommend running two props one way and two props another way. So run uh, two regular props and then one pusher prop, like, say, over there. That way you don't have so much torque. Um, if you run all the same props, this thing's going to make a ton of torque pulling whichever direction the props are going and your servo is going to be at a really harsh angle just to even compensate for the torque before you even have to like you know use rudder inputs or anything and that's going to not make it or that's going to make it not fly as well so you know I mean like I said I can't vouch for some people's setups you know the frame is the frame you get the frame and you know it's a it's a freaking awesome frame um, but you also got to understand that if you buy cheap, it's going to perform cheap. And it's, that has nothing to do with the frame. That is basically your stuff in it, you know. If you're running cheap motors, it's going to run cheap. I mean, it, it might, you might have crazy vibes. And then, you know, your vibes are getting sent all the way to your camera. So, I mean, that's basically the the gist of it. If you're going to if you're gonna buy this frame, spend the money, get decent motors. I run NX4008s. I like them. Try the... Uh, Try a different motor if you want, but you know, I can't vouch for your your setup and how how much Jello. Also, but your your most thing you're probably gonna get the most Jello from is if you're running gym fan props or cheap props, because those are horrible. Like my gym fan props, when I had them on my old try, you could actually see on my videos that it had a, about a one inch split after I balanced the props. Like one blade was tracking right about here, and the other one was tracking higher by about an inch difference so imagine the vibes from that and that was after I balanced those props so yeah I would not recommend those props they're really flimsy but uh basically we're gonna do a demo 
Um, this is a, a guy, he just uh, bought this tricopter for me. Um, I hooked it all up for him, uh, put his receiver and everything in it. So we'll go outside and do a little demo for him and basically show you how um, my a tricopter that I set up flies. I mean, they're very stable. I don't use any like crazy gains or anything, but I'll just give you an example of how they should fly. I'm also using quarter inch booms on this one. Let it get uh, some time. To, it's pretty windy right now. You can see the tree branches or the tree over there. It's blowing pretty hard. Probably about 12 miles an hour wind. As you can see, it's very steady, even in the wind. It's really windy. You can see it move with the wind. Look how fast the wind's moving right now. That was in auto level mode, but take it out and put it in rate mode. Show you a little bit of pumps with it. As you can see, it flies very good. But once again, this is my setup. I can't vouch for your guys' setups. If you run different props or something, or different motors, you're not basically copying me, I can't vouch for how your frame's gonna fly. Just wanna put that out there. But this is a, a guy's frame, so I was just basically doing a test flight for him so he can also see the video and how his frame flies. It flies very good. It's very windy right now, actually. So I'll bring it back in. But that's basically it. Remember, Turner G Plush ESCs and X4008 motors. ABC 10 by 4.7 props, and uh, I'm using a copter control to fly it. I mean, if it flies flawless, I mean, if you copy this setup, you'll have a great flying tricopter. I highly recommend it. Oh, high-tech high uh, HS85MG servo. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys.